everybody, it's Alexis from The Bedford Life. Summer is here and it's officially zucchini season. Today I'm going to show you a really easy recipe for zucchini blossom and corn soup. You ready, Dad? Okay. So I'm sitting in my garden right now. I got a bunch of tomatoes in front of me here, but back here are my zucchini plants. This is my second year having a vegetable garden, and thanks to Jesse's helpful pointers, I was able to have a really successful season. So make sure you check out the Gardening with Jesse playlist. She's got some amazing pointers and tips so that you can grow a beautiful, lush garden and grow your own food. So grab your aprons and let's get started. Here's what you'll need. All right, so I had to switch spots. It was like every neighborhood dog started barking at once and it just became so ridiculous that I had to move to a place that was a little bit more quiet. So anyway, what I end up doing is cutting the males. And as you can tell, these have very skinny stems. The males have skinny stems. The females have fatter stems, which end up becoming zucchini. So I recommend cutting the males because if you cut off um, if you see a flower and cut off a stem that looks a little bit thicker, yes, you'll get a flower, but you won't end up with a zucchini. Now, these guys are like really um, finicky, so you really need to pick them in the morning or pick them and then use them that day. I have been able to cut them and put them in water and use them the next day, but any time after that, they get a little weird and there's discoloration and it doesn't look so pretty. For this particular recipe, we're gonna end up like just giving them a rough chop and sauteing them and putting them in a blender. So you don't need to be too delicate with these, um, but I will say that you wanna pull this part off here. There we go. You wanna pull that part off. And then you're gonna wanna look inside and remove that part. And also look for bugs and dirt and all that other stuff. Ooh, the wind's blowing and my camera's shaking. Now, if you don't grow these in the garden, you can usually find them at the local farmer's market in season. And again, it is a very, very short season for zucchini blossoms. I had this like really weird zucchini that was growing in the garden and I had a feeling it wasn't gonna grow to like full size. It was sort of like weird shaped and growing into the dirt. So what I'm gonna do is just end up chopping it up and putting it in the soup so that it doesn't go to waste. It's not gonna change the recipe at all. You don't need to add one for your particular soup, but I just didn't want to let it go to waste.
if you love this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. And if you're looking for more zucchini recipes, make sure you check out our summer favorites playlist. You can also go to thebedforlife.com to join our mailing list. You'll get 15% off your first purchase and exclusive promos and discounts to all our fabulous merchandise. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.